Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time we did a little hunting with Hamish and I recorded on the wrong audio channel. I'm recording immediately after the last episode. I'm trying to get done I'm trying to get Red Dead 2 done. I really like the game, but I want to get through it. And I'm currently recording part 92. I've got like 50 something up. So yeah, this is gonna be going up for a while. Game is long. I didn't expect it to be this long. That is not a criticism, by the way, merely an observation. I am thoroughly enjoying it. Okay. Lancaster Repeater. I wonder if I can run into any of the Lemoyne Raiders out and about. Very possible, given the location I'm in. <coughs> this is their turf. Shame I couldn't save those guys. I don't really feel like running this all the way to a wagon fence. But at the same time, I wouldn't be against it. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. I'll speed it up because... Oh, these are raiders. Yeah, let's take this up to a wagon fence. Let's see, the wagon fence is in... up in New Hanover near the Emerald Ranch. So he does that at night. Oh, I can just bring it right in. I found this. Oh, you might be interested in this. Well, ain't this a lovely little thing? Deal. And this is for you. See you again soon. Forty bucks. Not shoe shabby. Hey there, girl. Okay, now let's. Well, Sadie is still closer, it seems. A little closer. It's about the same, but I want to go do Sadie's quest mission thing because I like Sadie. I like Miss Adler because she's a little bit crazy. I'll do like I said. I'll speed up until I get to her. Marjo, I come across something interesting. Howdy there, stranger. Uh, hey, that's a nice looking horse you have there. That well, ain't thank you. Than mine though. Ariel's my pride and joy. Come on. Why don't we race to Van Horn, the trading post? Sure. You? Sure. Oh, let's race. All right. Let's race. I'm gonna shoot you down. Come on, girl, come on. You got drugs? Come on, girl. You're my pride and joy. You got... Oh!
Well, since you can just materialize yourself. Lies through wagons, I can't. Come on, girl. Ooh. Ran right into that wagon. Oh, boy. Dead or alive, turf. Having fun, are you? Eat them for breakfast. Oh, that was Shady Bell. My my Shire is still there. That's weird. Why is the Shire? You know what? I don't care. And dun 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 Good race, man. What a shame, old timer. Do I get anything for winning? Not a bad race. Maybe another time. Next time, friend. Next time we'll get you. You can write that down. I'm sure. So this is the town of Van Horn. I have a Oh, wait, I've been here. This is where we set up a trap. Yeah, I'm not interested, pal. Whoa, watch out, boy. Don't want to run over the dog. Pay your bounty at the stagecoach. Yeah, I know, I know! Well, that was fun. That was certainly interesting. Let's keep it making my way to camp, which I don't think is much further. But even though after I ran smack into a fucking wagon, I won the race. Is that so? I don't know. Look. <laughs> it's here. You should have fallen and died. We gotta ah! get you! No, you ain't killing me! Nah! Okay, that's how I fan the gun. Okay, cool. God damn Murphys. Annoying ass fucking pricks. Apparently my shotgun's in bad condition. I need to clean it.
Okay. Well, let's get a move on. Murphy suck. Goddamn inbred peckerwoods. This is it. You okay? Widow. Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband. Look, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Yeah, I'll help you, Sadie. I'll tell you, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail, Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help me. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. They have a chance. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Let's do it. Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. <clears throat> Whoa, whoa. Hey. Hey. What's going on? Okay. I think there's a bunch of them in there, mostly drunk. One of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Sure. How are we doing? A Lynchfield. We're just going in. <clears throat> I finally okay, get then. the Lynchfield. It's a big ranch. Run down, lots of folk there, but spread pretty thin. I'll set it off, and then we'll we'll take it from there. Take it from there. Okay. So, no real plan then. Oh, I nope. got a plan. Now come on. I know that woman. She was with Dutch. The way that's loading loads kind of like a Henry. I think that's what this repeater's based off. It's based off a Henry repeater. So 
Certainly fits the timeline. Henry's been around since the 1800s. Oh shit. I hear somebody crying up there, and it isn't Sadie. Feel better? Remind me not to get on your bad okay. side. Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. I believe you. Uh, they turned Did me you? into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, I want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> well, that was fun.
Oh my god, look her. Are you serious? No disease spreading. So I got me a new toy, a Litchfield repeater. And with that golden handle, it's definitely reminiscent of a Henry Golden Boy. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I go help Charles. Oh yeah, this guy. He's around. You know, let's do this real quick before I sign off. I might as well, since I am right here. And then next episode, I'll go help Charles. Mr. Morgan, I'm sorry, my, my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, oh, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No, wolves. Wolves? Now you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. Thought I'd be safe, given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Well, to me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. <laughs> a while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Me neither. But shh, there's one. Looks like we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Come on. Come on. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when clawing at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Uh, dude. You provoked them, Mr. Morgan. Hell! They ain't provoked. Oh, Mr. Morgan, hell! Don't crack. Kept the wolves from the door. Come on. It's okay. Step out of it. You're safe. Oh, easy, girl. It's okay. Please. Stay there. They were fixing to charge you, buddy. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a way to... 
literally a dog's dinner. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. That was fun. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2. As I make my way north to help Charles out in his predicament. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.